Okay, Stan, I got your radio all ready to go for you. Again, there's nothing to adjust inside the radio. There's no adjustments at all, but I did do the programming for you. So for ham, you go up here to band F, and you have pretty much, you know, full coverage all the way up to, you might have to turn on your noise blanker on some of these other frequencies if you want to run it. You have your 28.3 to 28.5 right here. You see the channel display goes up to like 60. So if you want to move things faster, you just touch the clarifier button and then you can kind of cycle through like a VFO, like a ham radio. So some of the guys on like 10 meter runs like split, like weird frequency, like they could be like right there or something. So that way it gives you the opportunity and you can move this you know, wherever you need to go, small increments, whatever you need to do. So don't worry that this isn't always at 12 o'clock or anything, even on like regular CB frequencies. So like if you're here, 28305, you're going to hear people on frequency as long as it's reading 385000. So just to show you here, uh, I got this just, just a standard mic. This is a dynamic mic, but uh, I do have pin number four not wired to the jack on my mic. So that's a main thing. The stock mic uh, are automatically is like that, and you do have channel up and channel down on it. I didn't take yours out. I don't like to use customers' mics or anything. And mine is tucked away in a box for the one that I have, so I don't really use it. Um, but here you go. So we're just transmitting. When you, every time you transmit, it's going to show you your SWR on the display. And I have, uh, it's set to protect, I think at 2.2 or 2.3, it's going to shut the transmitter off. It'll say high SWR or something on the display. And that's just protect the radio so you don't burn up the finals in it or something. Because uh, the radio, the warranty on the radio is basically they will supply any parts necessary to make the radio work again except finals if the finals blow they won't supply those you'd have to send it somewhere i don't do radio repair or anything like that so but the finals are pretty standard in most radios it's probably got the same finals in your lincoln 2 plus so any like repair shop would be able to put new finals in a radio like this for you but uh, otherwise i mean i haven't had any issues with any of these that i've sold this one i've used uh very briefly, just as a demo radio on a few other videos, but uh, it's worked great. Um, and let you hear it a little bit over the ICOM right here. So here's the ICOM right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, check, check, check. So it's right on frequency. It's a great thing about these radios. Uh, we'll just transmit on the ICOM. This is a desk mic that I just got in. Um, this is actually wired directly for this radio. I'm using it on the ICOM, though I have a adapter plug on it so we'll just uh one two one two three four i'm kind of too close to the radio so it's kind of feeding back a little bit but one two one two three four five six check 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 one two so it's receiving fine everything's working great on it um power output is right here this is your rf power control down makes it lower up all the way up is all the way up rf gains here Echo, I don't have echo on, but it's got a pretty decent sounding echo. Roger beep is right here if you want to run that. Pretty standard beep. If you ever want to adjust your mic gain, which you, I don't recommend, it's, it sounds the best all the way up. It's right here, the first menu function. You'll get a manual with it too. It'll describe what all these menu functions do. I believe with your stock mic in, once you have that held in, it'll go to that. I think if you hit up and down... No, actually, you have to cycle function to go to each different option. So if you see the channel changer, the number changes. So, And that's your mic type right here, DY. Or else if you wanted to run something else, like this mic would be EL because it has an electric condenser. So you want to keep it in DY for the factory mic. Some of this other stuff, it's all in the, in the menu or in the manual. A lot of it you probably never will have to adjust, but like I say, the radio's ready to go. It has all these frequencies from, you know, whether you'd ever be able to use them. Of course, you need an antenna that have a good SWR here, but from 25615 all the way to 28 dot, I think it was supposed to be 505 is how it was programmed in, but since I moved that clarifier, 
28505. So it gets you your whole technician class portion of 10 meter. And uh, I don't know if you do CW, but uh, it also has that um, option as well. You know, in the lower range here. I've never used CW on the radio, so I'm not sure how it would work. But, um, yeah, they're nice radios. They really are. So, Van D is your standard 1 through 40 CB. Of course, you know, you don't get the split channel. You'd have to go right here to this 10 KC, and it says plus 10, or 10 right there to get that in between if you wanted to. Um, I'll let you hear it on AM. So, it's not going to be a good interpretation of how it sounds on Aeon because, you know, one, two, one, two, check, check, one, two, one, two. I can show you the power output that we have here on it. So, 50 watts right there, so we're looking in the middle of the watt meter, so. It's about 12 13 watts with it all the way up and then when you talk into the mic it's a little over 50 watts so it's probably pretty close to what your lincoln 2 plus does it's about the same power output as that radio and then if we go to sideband we'll just go to lower side here's lower sideband so here's lower sideband right here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten check 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 so it's the same about 50 watts if you turn that rf power dial all the way down it, it'll do extremely uh, less amount of power, so it does like, you know, less than 5 watts right now. And then on AM, with it all the way down. So I think it's about a 3 watt dead key or something, and then, you know, your, your forward talking power goes way down. So it's fully adjustable. Um, I would recommend, though, possibly for you, maybe just run it mobile with your striker mag mount because it has a good swr until you can get your base antenna situation figured out but uh the radio is a great radio so i'm going to get it boxed up and ready to send out to you so i hope you enjoy it and um i did put this in the i'll put this in the box with it too this is the information right here about how to, if it ever loses the CB frequencies, which as long as you don't ever do a menu reset, you'll never have to worry about this, but this is how you would do it. So this is your book right here. It has a lot of the information about all the menu settings and stuff. So. A lot of good information here. A lot of these menu settings are like right here. What you'll see on the channel display is what corresponds to a lot of, we're not actually there yet. That's what your factory mic will look like there. Okay, right here, function menu setup. So like number one would be your mic gain. And it tells you what they are. And if we go and hold this, number one. So we'll go to like number four. It says, I don't even know what that is. I think it's for tones. If we look it up. RX CTCSS tones. So that's for like a 10 meter repeater. So it's all in here. It's all laid out. I think they even tell you what the default value of it is. So um, like I say, if you ever have any questions or anything, just give me a call, an email, um, and I can help you out with it. But it, they're pretty easy to use. This is your band selector. And again, your 10 meter would be up in from 2830. 300 actually so channel 40 to channel 60 on the top band is your voice portion portion of 10 meters so but otherwise it's uh, it's ready to go um i do recommend that you try out the noise gate feature which is here you hold this in and you go not noise gate noise reduction which is here number nine it really knocks out a lot of the background noise so it's i like it i run it all the time on mine course we don't have any static or anything because we're on a dummy load right now so that's it for you stan i'll get it ready to ship out to you thanks again um let me just show you the back of it so it does have a warranty seal just make sure you don't open it up for any reason because they don't really like that there's nothing to adjust or anything anyway so if you ever want to see the inside i think i got it on one of my videos or something 
Don't ever let anybody tell you that they can do stuff to this radio to make it do more power or anything like that and stuff. It's just, it's, there's nothing that needs to be done. It's ready to talk right out of the box. So that's your serial number right there. It was made in 21. And uh, yeah, I'll have probably more of these to sell later. So hope you enjoy it. Uh, they have a really good sound over the air. Take care.